guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I've been gone for a while now. I haven't done a video since before Valentine's Day, but there's been a lot of personal things going on with the family. So, yeah. Um, anyway, I'm here today with a Let's Talk Trash or Empties video. Um, I've been really bad about uh, keeping my trash. I keep forgetting I throw things away and I'm like, crap, I'm supposed to save that. Um, so this isn't a full representation of it, but, uh, I did start saving a lot of it. Um, I might talk a little funny. I'm going to do a little braces, um, and surgery update. I, um, I went in on March 1st and they, I guess, changed my wires to, it's still the same basic wire where they kind of just straightens your teeth it doesn't um, close your gaps yet but I have these problem teeth in the back that are kind of turned this way so to get them to go upright they had to put what's called bite blocks on my teeth and basically they're just buildups on the teeth that stop you from being able to shut your mouth completely so I cannot completely shut my mouth um, when I first got it I had a horrible lisp and I'm struggling like hardcore not to have lisp and sound like Mike Tyson but um yeah so just trying to pronunciate correctly has been a struggle um but hopefully I won't have to have the bite blocks on for too long uh basically if the teeth they're gonna try a few things if the teeth don't cooperate I'm gonna have to end up getting them pulled which I'm not really crazy about but at this point um it would be nice to be able to chew with more than four teeth because right now I can only chew with four teeth out of my mouth so that's been a struggle um really sucks as for surgery basically now we're just waiting on the teeth to move where they're supposed to move and my surgeon I went in and saw him um right before I got my braces tightened and he doesn't want to see me again until the beginning of summer and if everything goes well I could be possibly getting surgery the end of this year beginning of next year um so fingers crossed with that. If you guys have any questions for me, um, just leave them down below and I'd be happy to answer any of them for you. But yeah, definitely the pain has gotten better. They don't hurt as bad. Um, the pain on the gums has... I haven't had a problem with it actually until this morning. I woke up and right under here was a little sore. Um, but other than that, I haven't had much of an issue. So yeah, if you, like I said, if you have any questions, just leave them down below and I'd be happy to answer any of them. But uh, let's go ahead and get started with the empties. Okay, I have a box right here full of everything so i'm just gonna start grabbing no rhyme or reason to anything um first off is the crest pro health mouthwash i actually got this first bottle from my orthodontist um i become very ocd with brushing my teeth um and anybody with braces can understand that you basically have to brush your teeth every time you eat or drink anything um, but this I really like this this helps keep your mouth fresh and clean um, so there's that okay I have the it's a 10 potion 10 shampoo I have the conditioner that goes with this but I ran out of shampoo first because I purchased the conditioner after if you have color treated damaged hair um, or just color treated hair this stuff is amazing it's a 10 you can't go wrong with them um period they're pretty awesome um next another hair care big sexy hair hairspray um i always buy this but i can't say it's my favorite i haven't found a favorite hairspray that does everything i needed to i tried the kenra one and i like that it's just so expensive um but yeah so i just ran out of that so now I have no hairspray and I need to go get some. Next is the per Piranha? <laughs> Piranha. Privana uh, Pure Light Brightening Shampoo for Blonde and Silver Hair. Um, I love this. If you have platinum blonde or silver hair you need to have some kind of purple, purpley shampoo. Um, it basically you put it on there and it takes out any brastiness in your hair and this 
will actually, if you have bleach, bleach blonde hair and you put this on and let it sit on there 20-30 minutes, it will turn your hair silver. Um, but yeah, one of my favorite purple shampoos for silver hair. My other favorite is the Bellamy Tone Me shampoo and conditioner. I really like that. But this I'm out of. I'm using a different one now. Not sure if I like it that much. This one's definitely my favorite out of them all. And then next, just a Skin Timid Shaving Cream. Uh, I got this in, I think my walmart beauty box it's like a five dollar a month box and you get like drugstore things i'll do an unboxing next time i i get it um i forgot last time but yeah it's just a uh, shaving cream you know shaving cream shaving cream i don't really put a lot of thought into the shaving cream i usually buy the equate brand like the cheap walmart brand i don't really see a difference in buying expensive ones uh, next is the batiste dry shampoo my absolute favorite dry shampoo i've tried the higher end ones lower end ones love this will continue to go back i actually had like three more empty bottles of this but i did throw them away but um i really like this scent this is the tropical scent and I love it. Next is the Fresh Cream Body Cream. This is my absolute favorite body moisturizer. It Did that really just happen? <laughs> oh my god, it's great. Anyway, okay back to our regularly scheduled program <laughs> it smells really good it smells like <laughs> fresh vanilla cream and you basically want to eat it or jizz it all over your face like I just did um but yeah it smells heavenly my sister got me a bottle for Chris I feel like I have it on my nose still my sister got me a bottle for Christmas so I have a backup thankfully and she got me the perfume that goes with it um because it does have they have a whole line of this it started with this but now they have like the body wash the um, body perfume spray um body butter in a jar i love it um definitely go check it out smell it i it's very sweet but not too sweet i don't even know just go smell it in sephora or alta and you'll be hooked but it might attack your face Okay, next is a full bottle of the Chi, what is this, Chi Iron, Chi Iron Guard. This is in my trash because I bought it and the nozzle broke and it does not, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna attempt this. I've already got things, like, flying at my face, so we'll see how this goes. See that? It just, like, what the F am I gonna do with that? It's just, it comes out in giant clobs. It's not a fine mist. It broke. I can tell that the little piece inside the nozzle fell out, but I didn't keep my receipt and it's been sitting there so long I don't even think I can return it. But packaging sucked, so therefore I have to throw an entire bottle away. I, I like that stuff. I've used it in the past, but now it kind of just peed me off so bad I'll never purchase it again. Now I have the Philosophy Miracle Worker. Um, this is just a face moisturizer. It came in the same kit I, um, I think it was in one of my favorite videos. The Microderm Abrasion Delivery, Microderm Delivery Peel Abrasion, something, 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 something. The thing that has like the crystals you rub on, then you put the lotion on and it like makes your face really smooth. But this came with it. So I tried it all. It's deceiving. You think you get like a full thing, but the inside it's actually very shallow so you don't get a lot of product but I didn't like the smell either it's like very chemically but it did do good on my face like I mean it moisturized it will I repurchase probably not next is uh okay. next is my Curology this is my acne treatment I talked about it before in a video um I'm not sponsored by them or anything but I know a few youtubers are but this stuff is amazing. I I mentioned it before, like I had said, it's um <clears throat> it's a monthly subscription. It's twenty dollars a month, and 
basically you go online you answer a bunch of questions it's a real doctor they ask you a bunch of things about your skin you have to send them in high definition photos of your skin and they make your own acme acme that's a grocery store where i'm from i can't get my life together acne treatment solution so I started using this back in October and I absolutely love it. I've raved about it. I've had a bunch of my friends get started on it and family members get started on it. It's not just acne. It does um, anti-aging too. You can get just anti-aging or a mixture of both. But I love this. It's worth every penny, the $20 a month. This is a three month supply, but I've run, a, I've run out earlier and they've sent me it's not like you have to wait three months so if you run out too soon they'll still send you a new one um but yeah it's like even on the back it has like your uh little label it it's your own little uh it's your own little prescription on the back of the three medications mine i can't pronounce the only thing i can pronounce on here is clindamycin and that's because I worked in the medical world and I know that's a antibiotic. But um, yeah, my skin has never been clearer. I, heart, I never get breakouts anymore. Like I said before, if I do, they're very small and they last half the time as they used to. And I love this stuff. If you have acne prone skin or you're just you know, you have acne in general, try this. I swear by it, it'll clear up your skin. Moving on. Uh, next, I have the Herbal Essence Dry Shampoo. There's still a bunch in here. I hate it. it it's the type of dry shampoo that doesn't feel like you just cleaned your hair. It makes it feel very gritty and puts, um, like, a film on your hair almost. I feel like my hair looks dirtier after using this so I don't like that. If you want something for a texture like you're about to do an updo or something then that might work but I don't like it as a dry shampoo. Next I have the Corez Greek Yogurt um, Moisturizer. It's just a nourishing moisturizer. I love this. The Corez Greek line is my favorite skincare line. Um, I've purchased it many many a times. I will repurchase this. Um, great moisturizer. I use this in the evening and in the morning, but um, it, it, it's great. Definitely will repurchase. Uh, next is the Glam Glow Thirsty Mud. This is my favorite Glam Glow mask out of that line. Um, it's If you have dry skin, this is your savior. It is your best friend. It's thick. It's nourishing. You put it on your face. I don't... Basically, the directions are put it on your face, leave it on 20-30 minutes, rinse it off. I don't. I put it on my face and I go to bed. And I wake up in the morning and my skin is just plump and supple and hydrated and I love it. I don't like want to even rinse my face off. And it smells like coconuts or like a tanning salon or Key West or just tropical. Love it. I This is... I think I bought this is my third container of it and I 100% will be repurchasing that. Next is my favorite face wash, the Purity face wash. I've gone through so many of these, I lost count, will be repurchasing. Um, I like this because it's the cleanser and toner in one. So it's very gentle on your face. When you clean your face, it doesn't feel dry and like that tight feeling where it's like you feel like all the moisture has been stripped out of your face this doesn't do it and this takes off eye makeup like a boss you wouldn't think so because it doesn't lather up or anything but this will take off the makeup geek gel liner that will if you don't take it off it'll last for days on your eyes um this gets that off better than any cleanser i've used this is the christian dior rose um, Creme de Rose Lip Plumping Balm. It's, I've, I think I talked about this in my favorites. There's a little bit left around the edges, but I already have a backup. This is my absolute favorite, um, lip moisturizer or lip balm. I have very dry lips and this works better than anything I've tried. And I've tried 
everything. My lips used to be so chapped, they'd crack and bleed and just be painful. Um, and I do drink a lot of water. I have type 1 diabetes, so I tend to be dehydrated a lot, even when I drink a lot of water. Um, it's just a struggle trying to stay hydrated and, you know, dry skin and chapped lips just come along with the territory with diabetes. Um, and this really helps. It's been the best I've ever used. Like I said, it's um, $26, but it lasts forever. And it's plumping but it's not like that tingly plumping i think it's just called plumping because it moisturizes so well that your lips just look plumper and fuller and more like juicy i guess but love this like i said already purchased a backup we'll use that until something better comes along but nothing has yet so definitely a love um the last two items oh wait i lied i have three i'm sorry i lied um stila all day liquid liner favorite liquid liner pen of life it's the uh intense black one i have the brown one i'm wearing the brown one today favorite liquid liner it's um i think this is felt tip i might be wrong but it's a very fine fine tip it gives really nice precise accuracy when you're doing a wing liner it is my favorite especially if i'm in a hurry and i'm like okay i need to get this wing down one stop shop gotta get it done this is what i go to and i've already purchased a backup and am using that um, next is the nars via Veneto black liner um it's just a coal liner i don't even there's like it's done there's like nothing left i've already purchased the backup of this I've gone through like six, seven, eight of these. My absolute favorite liner for the lining the rim of your eye. I feel like it lasts better than any other liner I've used. I'm really PO'd about this one. This is the new Anastasia Brow Definer, the one that's like really thick. Well, I just bought this, like just bought it maybe two weeks ago, and it's empty because when I opened it, the entire crayon portion or pencil flung out and landed on the floor and then broke and I like I'm not taking something off the floor and putting it back in it and drawing on my face it's just not happening so pretty much the entire product came out just fell right out broke not putting it back in really pissed me off because this is not cheap I think this is like 23 24 dollars and I maybe used it four times and I got it from Sephora so I am I'm thinking about just taking it back I don't know if they will because I don't I lost this cap and I don't have the packaging it came in so I don't know if they'll let me return it or not if you know leave me a comment down below if I can return this. All right guys, so that was my Let's Talk Trash Empties video. I hope you enjoyed it. And this is Leela, my Vishla little puppy. I love her so much. Um, I think that's her first time being on camera. But yeah, this is Leela the Vishla. She has her own Instagram. It's Leela the Vishla if you want to go check it out. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. If you guys have tried any of these, um, let me know what you think down below. And if you guys make any empties videos or anything like that, let me know so I can come watch your trash. I'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.